What is up YouTube? This is PZSCN here. Today I'm going to be doing a new Zippo video. Yes. And this is going to be a double feature, as you can see by the fact that there are two Zippos on the table. One of which is actually still in a little, uh, you know, package. So, yeah, it's going to be a double feature. Um, there's also something else a little bit different about this video. I am not filming it on my iPhone. I am actually recording this on my Canon T5i. So the only real disadvantage that this thing has is that it doesn't do 30 frame or it doesn't do 60 frames a second. Uh, it only does up to 30 frames a second, but it does give me full control over literally everything, which may or may not be good. We'll see, this is my second take because I'm still trying to learn this thing. Um, hopefully the wind will not become an issue because I don't have a proper microphone on here and it is a little bit breezy out here, but I thought it was a really nice day out so I wanted to film this outside. So, anyway, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's get into this video. So, let's start with this one because it's already out of everything. Um, we actually, I actually bought this one back at, in Charlotte earlier this week. Me went over there to purchase my little sister a new computer because she needs one. And uh, while I was there, I went down and found a store called the Tinderbox. I've actually mentioned them before, but at another place. And I bought this Zippo. Their Zippo selection was a little bit sparse, but as it was, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and check it out. So anyway, the model on this one, as you can see, is 233 regular red mat. Yes. So let's take this one out. There it is. It's very plain. All it is is it's a sim whoa, <laughs> if I don't drop it. All it is is a simple red mat zippo. So let's check it out. All right, you can actually see it had a price tag on it of 19.99 right there. Here it is. Are we in focus? I hope so. So there you go. Nice zippo. I already took the back sticker off, obviously. By the way, I just opened it. And um, yeah, if we go ahead and take a look at the bottom stamp, zoom in, you will in fact see that this was made in H of 2014. H of 2014 being August of 2014. So that's what that means. And if we go ahead and take a look at the insert, which is in there, a little bit tight, but not too bad you will see this was made in March of 2015, which seems like a pretty large gap if you think about it, but it's really nothing to worry about like I've said before. Just because your insert was made quite after your case or vice versa doesn't mean anything about the legitimacy of the Zippo. It's still a real Zippo. Sometimes they just get made at different times. It really is as simple as that. So anyway, yeah, like I say, very, very simple. That's really all I have to say about this one. Um, just, I've always wanted a red mat Zippo uh, since I saw one back in like 2010 or 2011 and I wanted to buy it, but the guy at the display was like, no, you can't because you have to be 21 to buy it. And at the time I was like 19 or 18. So actually I think it was 17. Yeah, I think it was 17 back then. So that sucked, I couldn't buy it because he's like, nope, you must be 21 or older, which, makes no sense. If you happen to own a store or a little stand that sells Zippos and you are requiring people to be 21 to buy Zippo, let me just tell you, you need to rethink your lighter buying policy. Okay, because that's ridiculous. All right, so that's it for that one. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one because it's an exciting little package, isn't it? This actually came from Zippo Direct. If you follow Zippo on Facebook, you will have doubtlessly heard of this one. This is actually a collaboration with an artist named Steven Spizak, I wanna say. Steven Spazik. Uh, I can't remember, I actually have the website with me and we're gonna take a look at it here in a minute so we can confirm that, but I think it's Steven Spizak. And um, this is a design that was painted with fire, yes. It's very interesting, indeed. Um, let's go ahead and, you know, let's just go and crack into it. Because I have been looking forward to this for so long. I've literally been waiting and waiting for this to go on sale. I've been watching Zippo's website. And uh, as soon, as soon as it went on sale, I actually went on sale the day I bought that one. As soon as it went on sale, I, uh, I placed my order. Slice. Let me do this off camera, just make sure there's no uh, invoices in here. And there is. All right, flip it over so that way we don't spoil the number because this is a number. Aw, I was hoping this would come in some sort of commemorative packet, some sort of commemorative box, but um, 
I guess not. I guess the picture on the uh, Zippo website doesn't show in a commemorative box, so why would I expect it to come in a commemorative box anyway? I have no idea. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. There are two stickers on the back, so what do we guess the number? There were 850 of these made. So I'm going to put myself in the ballpark because, weirdly, this is actually made available to pre-order in the United Kingdom. Which is weird to me because this Zippo's an American company, so you would think that America would get first go at it and you'd be able to pre-order in America, but for whatever reason, this is actually made available to pre-order in the United Kingdom. And Steven Spizak isn't even from the United Kingdom, Steven Spizak is Canadian, so... I mean, if Canada was first to be able to do it, then that would make some sense because he's going to, I don't know. Anyway, because of that, um, it was available for pre-order in the United Kingdom for about like two weeks before I could actually buy this one, which is weird. So I'm going to go ahead and say I got probably in the 200s. I want to say about 214. That's kind of the ballpark I'm thinking. All right, ready? Okay, I was a little bit off there. Um, I got 684 of 850. And you can see the model on this one is 214 Flame Art. It's really, really hard to keep things in focus on this camera. I do apologize. Um, doesn't get nearly as close as my iPhone does. My iPhone can get up to here and it'll focus, but with this, not so much. All right, let's go ahead and let's check this out. Nice. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. You can see here, oh, it says limited edition. I really thought it would say something about Steven Spizak on there. Maybe it does on the back. Let's see. But check that out. Let me just get some better exposure for y'all there. That is cool. It does look a lot like it was silk screened on there, but this is actually a new process that Zippo did. Um, I can't, I think it's called something like color laser engraving or something. I can't remember. It doesn't feel engraved. It feels smooth. No. It just says the usual congratulations. Hmm. All right. I really thought I would have like a fancy thing on it. All right. There's the numbering right there. 684 out of 850. As you can see, there you can get a little closer like that. Check that out. That is cool. Wow. The bottom stamp. B of 2017. This is my first 2017 lighter. Ooh, that's very exciting. Let's take the sticker off. The sticker feels thinner. When do they change that? I wonder if that's just me going crazy or what. Boom. Very nice, very nice. Put this back in. Put this in the right way. Pop this back on. Let's see. So this is made in February of this year. Ugh. That's a little bit rough. That's very rough. I don't think you guys can really tell, but that is kind of... Let me see if you can hear it, actually. I'll hold it up to the microphone. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but... It's a little gritty on this one. It's kind of odd. Insert. Have we done anything new to the inserts this year? No, it just says January of 2017. No different color. None of that. Oh, I was hoping there'd be at least a different color, because this is actually Zippo's 85th anniversary. This month, I want to say. I want to say that's happening this month is Zippo's 85th anniversary. Hmm. What do you know? That's pretty cool. Check that out. Very, very cool indeed. Let me get y'all a close-up on that, just so you can see. This was actually drawn, I should really mention this. This is drawn using fire. Yeah. The guy's art medium is, in fact, Zippo's. <laughs> he used other Zippo's to paint this. Zippo actually did a video kind of interviewing him. I really recommend you guys check it out. It's on their Facebook page. I'll try and find a, some way to link it in the description um, for those of you who maybe don't have Facebooks or something like that. But, yeah, it's very, very cool. 
Um, I actually have a laptop with me with Zippo's website pulled up just so I can remember the name of that finish and also so we can just take a good look at some of this. Oh, I have to log in. Ah. You can see as of recording this video, it's still available and, uh, whoops. Definitely recommend you guys jump on it because that's number 600. You know they're going to run out soon. Um, whoops. Here's some of this stuff, right? Oh my gosh. Be nice, yoga. There we go. You can see they got a limited quantity of 850 pieces, yeah. Color image laser engrave, imprint. It's called the color in laser imprint or something like that. I think they actually advertise it on their Facebook page as having a different name, but it's roughly like that. You can see it's on a white mat, classic cane shape, all that jazz, you know, everything else. Yep, and the guy's name, oh, Spazic. I said Spizak, but no, it's actually Steven Spazic. So, yeah, kind of got that part wrong. My camera's time is flashing. Hmm, does that mean I need to make a jump cut? I guess so. All right, so yeah, that is the artist's name, Steven Spazak. It actually has a clickable link on it. Oh, and it gives you a little biography about him. You can see some videos there. I'll probably put a link to this in the description. That might be cool. There's a signature. Is the signature on here? No, it doesn't appear to be, unfortunately. But yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Just thought you would find that pretty interesting. The um, little collaboration that Zippo is doing with Spazic. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me go ahead and put this away. All right, my uh, yoga. He's back in the shot. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Do let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you thought about the uh, Canon T5i being the camera. Uh, really can't say I'll be doing this much more because I have to say there is a lot to remember with this thing and the focus is a little bit wonky. Um, I think they corrected that with the T7i, which just came out recently, but I have a T5i, so, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, that's about it. So thank you guys so, so very much for watching. Sorry there hasn't really been a whole lot of activity coming from me lately. I've um, just been busy with school and work and all that fun stuff. But anyway, thank you all for watching nonetheless, and adios.